Hi, welcome back to channel Train Station Two. All right, we got second in the first competition. Uh, as usual, uh, when Woski is around, there's no way I can get first because he's really good. Uh, here we are. I'm going to uh, collect uh, more of these items because we do need all these items in order to continuously keep our Dino factory busy uh, is a must because um, generally uh, the whole event majority of the time or if not all the time <laughs> they'll be asking for event items uh, I need to continuously collect all these event uh, raw materials like the fiber and the rock so that eventually you can go back to your uh, factory and then keep on building them because uh, generally uh, this is the way how it was designed uh, in this game all right warehouse is full as usual um, all right gonna exit this okay so um I believe uh, you already know uh, now there's this 3 hour bonus um, it goes in a cycle uh, sometimes it gives um, EP uh, that's the one that's most important um, then it goes to the uh, one that gives you event keys and of course it also gives you the one uh, on the uh, so called gems right so these are the three uh, circular uh, cycle that they could keep on going in a side side circular motion uh, whereby they give on like gems um, then give you EP and give you the so-called uh, the required keys so it depends what you want for me I would rather um, focus all my um, trains on uh, whenever it happens on the three hour EP ones because um, in order to uh, have a higher ranking in the ranking chart in the competition you need to focus on that uh, if you can't fulfill uh, the requirement for those event keys or the gems I think that's fine uh, but for the one that's talking about bonus EP please do so because uh, that will give you an edge over um, the rest of the competitors okay so um, how to then best prepare for that is that you know since it's a cycle um, you first uh, for example now this one you are working on uh, the bonus assuming it's the EP so the next two it wouldn't be EP right so it'll be gems or either event keys so um, when you have finished that two you know the next one uh, will definitely be EP what you can do is make sure your factories have all the event items ready before you click on that three hour uh, button because you know that once it clicks on the button the time gets running and if you can't fulfill it you are wasting um, that EP bonus alright so that's how you should do it have a good number of dinos or other uh, event items ready before you click that button alright so um, as for worrying about progress and towards 100% of the competition uh, don't will not worry about that if you're progressing very fast um, towards 100% congratulations um, the design of the game has tweaked it in a way now uh, whoever finished first will be rewarded by high EPs if I'm not wrong, um, normally they reward you with 70 EP jobs after you hit 100%. So all your jobs will be given 70 uh, EP. I'm not too sure whether it's the same uh, applies for this Demo Park event, but for the past few events, it seems like the way uh, they are rewarding people that are able to complete faster than the rest. As long as you hit 100%, your so EP will not be 23, 20, 35 or 58, you'll be all 70. So imagine you have all the 70 EPs to be done, um, you'll be so much better in terms of the returns, um, in terms of your speed in climbing that ranking chart. So there are two ways about it, the one you keep on doing, uh, but I also urge you to uh, have your EP head start. What do you mean by EP head start? If you're new to competition, it just means that you get all the four jobs done, uh, but then do not collect them until the second uh, competition starts. Uh, why you do you do so? Because once you start the competition, when you click on those four jobs, basically you have a few hundred EP points ahead of the rest of the people. So um, I'm keeping this 58 plus 80, so there's 138 EP on that single draw together with the uh, rest of the EPs. I should have a head start of 200 EPs when 
um, the start of the second competition. Meanwhile, what I do, I'll basically focus on building all the event items and store them in the factory. I'll remove all the non-event items to so-called free up the warehouse spacing and then eventually um, put them into my factory input and output tray, right? So uh, my warehouse should only store event items. The fact that um, majority, if not all the time, as I mentioned again, um, this event is asking for event items. Very rarely, they'll be asking for non-event items. So it wouldn't go wrong if you store your warehouse full of event items. Raw material is a must. You must build a huge inventory of raw materials because your factory cannot go idle, okay? So um, there's two ways about it. One way is you store lots of inventory, but I urge you uh, to not just store inventory of the raw materials, but store the complete products like the Dino uh, or anything else that is important to you because you do know that it takes time and most of the time you experience um, run out of items to be delivered. So uh, please do store the complete items. Um, and raw material wise, when it comes back in your trains after dispatch, you can go and collect them as well. But more importantly, it's the time taken to, um, to do all this, like Dino Toy, it takes 20 odd minutes or so. So you gotta bear in mind, the time spent is really precious uh, during uh, the, uh, the competition time. So before competition starts, you have lots of time prepared. Everybody is preparing that. So if you do not, you are at a losing age, okay? So um, here we are gonna check out the uh, ranking chart you can see here. Uh, we are second as expected. Uh, Moski is number one, and I'm, I'm number two. Uh, it's always the case uh, whenever there's a competition, wherever I met him, I will always be number two in a way. There's no way I can really surpass him. He's really good. So um, there's, there's, there's a, <laughs> a fate that we're going to uh, uh, proceed to. So there's no way uh, I can surpass him. Uh, but I'm rather happy uh, as long as I can get second. Uh, it means um, that after uh, four competitions itself, I will get 1,000 uh, event coins and then uh, uh, IE250 times 4 uh, I'll be able to claim that legendary train of 1,000 event coins. So um, besides that, I'll be saving up to claim uh, the legendary train with 4,000 event keys first uh, then I'll move on to epic, rare and common. Okay, so that's how the sequential uh, claiming of your train should work. Do not claim something from the common and work your way up to the uh, legendary because who knows, you may miss out the legendary. Legendary are hard to come by. Uh, the, the fact that the event legendary gives you 40 uh, capacity is really important to grab this legendary trains. There are two to be grabbed in every event. Make sure you do so. Um, you will not regret this because um, having the 2 times 40 uh, legendary train is so much uh, better in terms of the capacity that whenever you go for competition, you will be glad that you have claimed this uh, legendary trains. Alright, so um, the, the be between uh, rare and common and epic um, really, uh, I mean, if you can't um, save enough to claim the uh, rare and common as well, do at least um, get that epic train because, again, epic train of events uh, will be a larger capacity as compared to the region ones, okay? So, um, now, uh, unfortunately, I will be levering up fast because of the jobs I'm doing, uh, but that is expected. Um, one thing I could do worried about is that once I get too close to 400, I will cross to region 7. Um, that's not what I wanted. I want to go slow here. So what I'm trying to do is really to keep on saving keys. I got 2,866 keys already in those metal keys, not the Dino keys. Um, it's preparation for me to uh, switch over or advance over uh, to region 7 eventually. So I hope to have at least 5,000 or more keys um, and more parts and coins before we switch over uh, because once we start a new region it's a totally new fleet so you gotta bear in mind this um, without preparing for the next um, region that you will suffer the consequences of having a very tiny uh, fleet with very small uh, train capacity that's what how I started really uh, in region 6 uh, terrible 
experience uh, but nonetheless it's not that I did not prepare but probably not enough <laughs> alright so now that's the end of the competition so we're going with second and we got the 250 event uh, coins or we call it the Dino coins okay so um, that's it uh, I'll be keep on preparation for the second competition I hope you do so um, do not waste time uh, do not really relax uh, the uh, time before the second competition start is the preparation period um, all right i wish you good luck in the second competition i'll be on my way to prepare right now goodbye thank you for watching